guys so we're in the office obviously um today i want to give y'all a little mini tutorial on how i make my regular bracelet pattern because that's like my most asked question and how to end the bracelet so make it adjustable so yeah we'll just go ahead and get right into it and if you have any other questions you can go ahead and leave that down below and i can either answer it in the comments or i can make another video on it Okay, so first supplies, I use this macrame board just to hold my bracelet. This is the bracelet we're going to be making, just a simple evil eye bracelet. For string, I use this nylon cord I got from Amazon. I also got the macrame board from Amazon and some evil eyes. I got this whole box of evil eyes on Amazon. Then I use these little beads. I use it for like next to the evil eye and for the end of the bracelet. I got them from Walmart. And you're also going to need some scissors, a lighter, and tweezers. Okay, so we're going to start by just cutting out a long piece of string for the initial bracelet. And once that's cut, I'm going to burn the end so I can fit my beads better because sometimes it frays. And I'm just going to put a gold bead, my evil eye, and another gold bead. You can put whatever beads or charms you're using, but this is what I'm using in this case. This is how it looks when you're done. Now I'm going to place my string inside my macrame board like this just so it stays and then I'm going to put a lighter underneath to hold it up so that there's some space for me to be able to do the braid. Okay so now I'm going to just pull out some string to do the braid. Pull out quite a bit of string because you're going to need it. So you're just going to go underneath and just tie a regular tie. Okay, I slowed down the clip just to show y'all how I do the initial braid. So first, I take my first string and sort of make like a four with both the strings. The second string that I had crossed over the first one, you're going to take that string and go underneath the middle string and through the hole on the other side, if that makes sense. But you'll see what I'm doing. I'm pulling that string under and through the hole. And then you're going to tie your bracelet once you do that. After you're done doing that with one side, you're going to go on the opposite side and repeat the same step. So make like a backwards four or a P, go under and through the hole, and then tie in your bracelet. Okay, now I repeated this step a few times on camera just for anybody that needs more help understanding. Um, I also used tweezers here just in case my nails were getting in the way just so y'all can see the process. But I'm just pulling it right through and then tightening it. And then you're going to go on the opposite side over and then under and through the hole again and then tighten it Okay, so when you get that pattern down, you can keep on repeating it until you get the length of the bracelet that you want. Now here, I'm just burning the ends with a lighter so that our bracelet doesn't come undone. You just go ahead and burn the ends, but be very careful because it can burn you. Okay, so this is how our bracelet looks right now. We're going to go ahead and do the other side. And once we finish, this is how the bracelet will look. I also wanted to include how I cut the bracelets. Um, don't cut way too close because you still need a little bit of piece to burn. But also don't cut too long of a piece because then you're going to have to burn way too much and it's just going to burn the bracelet. So that's how it should look. 
Once you're done burning both ends of your bracelet, you can go ahead and start adding the little beads at the end. I like to do this, but you don't really have to. Um, I just go ahead and tie a regular knot, and then I tie a knot again on that same knot, just so that the bead doesn't come out, because I don't want it to come out. Go ahead and repeat that step for both sides and make sure you burn the end afterwards just so that there's no fraying and the knot won't come undone eventually. So this is how the ends of the bracelet will look when you're done. Okay, now I'm going to use these little end pieces of my macrame board to go ahead and put the ends that I just finished in. And I'm going to cross them over so we can start making our adjustable part of the bracelet. This is how it should look when it's crossed. Now you're just going to take some string. You don't need a huge piece of string for this because it's just for the end. Uh, but you're going to go right underneath both of the cross strings and you're going to make a regular tie just like you did for the braided part of the bracelet. I went ahead and turned it over so y'all can see what I'm doing better, but you're just going to go ahead and do that same exact pattern that you did for the braid for the end. You're going to just repeat that pattern maybe like four, five, six times until you feel like the knot is good enough. I usually go at least five or six times personally because I just want it to be secure, but you can go as many times as you feel needed. After you're done, you're going to be left with this and you're just going to go ahead and cut those ends off and burn them so that they don't fray and come undone. And this is how your bracelet should look whenever you are completed. It will be adjustable and all good to wear. so that's how you make the bracelet this is just how i make my simple like evil eye pattern um bracelets and how i end it and hopefully y'all understood my little tutorial you can watch it as many times as you need since it's just a video on my youtube now so hopefully this video does help and if you have any other questions feel free to ask me in the comments or you can always dm me on instagram and i answer most of everybody's questions so yeah, anyways, thanks for watching my YouTube video and I hope this helped.